I am still wearing the same shirt as I was yesterday. Well, I need to explain that because I, I, I don't always need to change my shirt because, I mean, my wife tells me I, I smell normal. I mean, I, I'm not like, you know, unhygienic. Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned into the live Star Wars Radar talk show, where we're here to talk about Star Wars and potentially other things, but mostly Star Wars stuff. Uh, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to cover, but today I do happen to know uh, what I want to cover. Uh, the bed with a blanket. No, I don't want to cover that. I want to cover some uh, sales that I, 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 I took advantage of. Ross has been a great place to find new stuff. And uh, this is one of those uh, items that we, we've we seen for, like, what, $10 or so? And, and, but maybe a little bit more, but it was marked down to $4 here. They're like diving sticks, dive characters. And uh, you basically drop them in water, then, you know, go underwater to, 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 to retrieve them, to, to play various games. So this was on sale. Very happy about that. Uh then these rings were also on sale. Now, oddly enough, I thought they were pretty affordable before, but they marked them about half off, so they were about seven dollars. These dive rings were about seven dollars, uh, but marked down to uh, three forty-nine, so about half off. And already, in my estimation, a pretty good price. Um, I had only seen these for the first time um, this year, just a, a couple of months ago, and the only place I've seen these. Uh, has had has and had uh, been specifically at uh, at Ross. Then we have the, in my estimation, the the most exciting things. Um, these these probably won't get marked down half off, but originally they were what twenty twenty two dollars, uh, marked down to seven dollars. Uh, what's nice is yes, okay, I do already have an Emphis Nest figure, but in in, in, in my um, estimation, Emphis Nest is never going to be released again as, as a figure. I could be wrong. So I only wanted this, not for the... I've got so many Emphis Nest bikes, not tons of them. Not that I'm building an Emphis Nest army, mind you. Uh, but um, I just wanted the figure. That, that's it. Right there. What do you think Jedi would like at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Well, John... Uh, Hmm, let's see here. Hang on. I know they had a lot of uh, a lot of really cool items. Uh, give me a second. I've got a, a like a laundry list of uh, possible oops possible stuff. Maybe. What did oh I see what I did. Uh, the the Toy Darian Toy Shop probably has the widest array of items that I think Jedi would probably be interested in. So like, um, it, uh, like they're they're little they were toys. Like there's a chance cube you can get there. The fun little trinkety things. Um, like we got the rebels matching character spinner. I was keeping my eye out for the imperial one because um, those are kind of fun to kind of fiddle with. Uh, she's too young for Sabak, of course. Uh, but there was uh. uh you know, the, the smaller things, the fun things. She's got a lot of stuffies, though, a lot of stuffed animals, so I, I'm, I'm not not as inclined to to, to to say that that's what she would want. Um, but it, it's kind of hard to, to choose for, for a child her age. Um, but, you know, it's anybody's guess. Ultimately, she likes food. <laughs> that's what Jedi likes. Jedi likes food and drink. She likes snacks. That's it, Ultimately, if we're going somewhere... She always asks, what, "What do you think they have to eat? What do you, what do you do they do they have snacks?" So that's the answer. Although I think uh, Jen Marie is picking up the uh, mouse droid popcorn bucket thing, and I think attaining some of the Coke bulbs. She'd like those. She'd like the Coke. She'd like the Coke, and she'd like the food. I'm just telling. It's straight up honest. Um, Dimitri asks, "Are you the number one Star Wars, fan of Star Wars?" I am not. There are people who are fannier than thou. Um, I, I, I'm just a fan. I'm just I, I'm just a fan in just about every not every measurable way, but in so many ways. I can I, I'm definitely a, a fan. I'm ta I talk about this stuff on my own, on my own volition, and I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I guess that makes me a, not the number one fan. I'm probably like 27, number 27. 
Uh, Mega Noki asks, do you think the Great Jedi will be in the latest upcoming movie? I think we're going to potentially see an official introduction to it, um, you know, because Luke kind of set the stage. Rey's kind of you know, effectively lost. And I think their canon should be a lot of that middle ground and nuance. I, I don't. I think both uh, both sides, Jedi and Sith, when they get caught up in dogma, you know, inevitably there's going to be conflict. And so it's it's just the way that it's it's a universal truth, right? But I think by being more like uh, Ahsoka, neither Jedi nor Sith, um, it would be that would be a fantastic way to recap that that trilogy. But if we if we saw well an older Ahsoka certainly, um, kind of come basically step into the picture and you know offer a bit of guidance as a, as a mentor, not necessarily a master, a mentor to Rey as she effectively, you know, tries to take this power that she's discovered in herself and, uh, you know, make sure that she doesn't cause more harm than good in her youth. Uh, that would be, that would be neat to see on screen. I would love to see Ahsoka on screen. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do because, man, that would be something. Uh, my week is going, yes, it is. That's how is it, it is going. I, I will say that. It is going. Although the video I just did... Hey, Cheesy Sword, good to see you. Um, the video I just did uh, was... Uh, I talked about something... I, I Suffice to say, if, if you saw the video on my other channel, I may redo it. I may actually redo my uh, other thoughts in my other channel. I, it came out well for me, but I, I think I said a couple things that some people may take issue with, and so I, I've got to... I probably have to redo it, but anyway, um, do I have the Black Series Darth Vader helmet? I just ordered one. I'm so excited. I did not get it. I, ultimately, I did not find one on sale. Um, I got Poe Dameron's helmet. Not that I'm excited about that, but for $23. Like, okay, yeah. But the Darth Vader helmet, I just, I'm not a helmet collector, just like I'm not a lightsaber collector, and so I didn't chase it down because, A, it takes up space. And, B, I just I couldn't justify that as a, as a, as a price for, for what... I might enjoy uh, uh, in terms of that that, that helmet. Uh, so no is the answer. I'd love to see a kid again as main character in like episode one. You'd love that. Oh, that's, that's, go for it, man. I I mean that take that love to the bank. Um, I, I I think I'd be fine not having too many kids. But I mean even having the the stable kids right in uh, in the last Jedi. I mean I thought they were they were integrated well. I thought they told the story or helped the story, um, certainly, and, uh, you know, not necessarily as a main character, uh, although I, I do understand why a child was a main character in episode one, although some people would argue that episode one didn't need to happen. I don't know. I, I, I guess I, I don't take such a, a hard-line approach to episode one as some people do, like, in, in, like, especially like if you're talking about viewing movies in the machete order. So this is interesting. Uh, another one of the boxes, and I say this is interesting for a reason, obviously. Uh, a Wampa. So these these were they were out in stores, just like Emphas Nest, and these were also around twenty bucks. Very, 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 very wanted. I, of course, this is what's funny or odd. This is what I was trying to stage. I didn't want the vehicle. I just wanted the figure in this package. And in this package, all I want is the monster, not necessarily the Luke. <laughs> like, I'll take another Wampa. Like for I mean look two two figures effectively for seven bucks, come on, what is not to like? Oh, especially when the tape has already been sliced through. Okay, well the wampa's still in there. It doesn't look damaged. I think I hope, unless it's been replaced with something else. The Luke was not touched. Right there, lightsaber gun. All right, let's see. The, the box was open, so. With any luck, we have a full Wampa. Do we have a full Wampa? We do. We do. Okay. Bullet dodged. I was, I was, I was getting to a little concerned there for a second. Uh, we've got the Wampa inside. Do I have any Star Wars nutcrackers? Uh, I do, actually. A handful of them. Not all of them. I, I, I don't know. I think I have all the Darth Vader nutcrackers. Including uh, the Steinbach Nutcrackers. That's like my favorite style of Nutcracker. Um, but I, yeah, I do. It's, it's neat. They've got a little blood. Uh, so you can have a bloody stump wampa. Like you can, I mean, you cannot, you cannot pass this up. For like seven bucks, 
Like you just you just can't. Like it's it, it would be imposs it would be impossible to want to pass this up for seven bucks. It's crazy. I mean, look, look seven dollars. I would have been happier if the Emphis Nest set, set was like a couple of her Marauders, right? Not just Emphis Nest, but her Marauders. I've got I'm good on the bike. I don't need the bike. I know other people love the vehicles. I'm not the vehicle guy. Um, but anyway, yeah. So it, this Wampa, unlike the Luke, who is articulated but not not maybe beyond let's see how many points do we have we have the scarf which rotates around uh we have his his head swivels left and right his arms swing his gloves do not uh, uh articulate his legs move back and forth his uh, other joints do not so one two three four five six points of articulation if you include his his wind scarf which does not wrap around but like you know if, if you wanted to suggest that Luke was standing in a, a windy uh, condition, you could easily uh, move the scarf kind of blowing one direction. Uh, not to be confused with one direction. You can have it blow in the other direction too. Mostly like Or like if he was hanging, right? And the scarf is down so it's accurate. Uh, he's got a holster for his weapon uh, so his gun could fit into his holster. And then of course his, his lightsaber. So just standard uh, accessories really. Happy to have this Luke. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm very happy. I, lo I love the face sculpt on the Luke. And in fact, you can even see it like the scar. But I can't get too close. But suffice it to say, it's actually a really good likeness of Mark Hamill. Like, it's a solid likeness of Mark Hamill. Um, but it's blurry. Because if I got too close, you wouldn't be able... You can't see anything. Because it's, it's, it's not... It's not focused. It, uh, it's not autofocus. As opposed to the Wampa. You know, you can swing his arm up and down. You could rotate at the elbow. You can kind of move the head back and forth, although there's, there's not much range of motion there. Uh, you can uh, pivot at the hip, at the knee, and at the foot uh, for the wampa. So they, they've really, they super articulated this. I'm not sure if we're going to see another wampa uh, anytime soon. We've now had a Black Series wampa, the six-inch scale, and uh, a more modern uh, uh, wampa here uh, in the three and three-quarter inch uh, scale. So happy happy to uh to have this wampa another yet another wampa because you just can't have it i mean maybe you can't have enough wampa i mean granted how many you know blood out of mouth dripping wampa can you have you can't really army build but um anyway so what else do we have i don't know anything about star wars i can only imagine what the world it is oh you just never never too late to jump in you can see me working at Star Wars themed collectible vintage toy store. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know everything about everything though. I would definitely need help. Uh, so our new comics for today are Age of Rebellion, Darth Vader, and Galaxy's Edge three. Yeah, see that's the that's the one shot I'll probably dive into pretty quickly. My my stack it's it's still pretty it's it's thick. It, I mean I I, I it's, maybe I've got some entertainment to catch up on. I did not watch all of. The uh, what was the show I was talking about yesterday? Good Omens. I think I got one and a half episodes in, then I started to get tired. It was a long day yesterday, uh, but you know, it's you know, having a stack of comics is kind of nice to turn to. Uh, there's a Star Wars store at the Washington Square Mall in Portland. Good to know. I do travel to Portland now, not frequently, but frequently enough. A Star Wars store, like a dedicated store. This I did not know. Washington Square Mall. I will have to remember this on a, on, a, on a future trip where I can spend some time at the Washington Square Mall. Look at the Wampa feet. You need, you need some Wampa. And plus, he's, uh, he's got the Force Link 2, the, uh, the green insignia there. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a, a official... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The Wampas, this arm also articulates that way. This one doesn't because it's the one that pops off. Um, yeah, we have... Suture and Sons, the Star Wars store in Aberdeen, which is the birthplace of Kurt Cobain. Went there once, and I'm not going to say I was disappointed. I did video on this, too, in my, my, my other channel, my personal channel. Uh, disappointed is the wrong word to use. Because it wasn't disappointing, it was an experience. Uh, you don't go there because you're looking for a sale. Uh, because a lot of the items are very overpriced. Like, uh, no. Um, I think I got a couple of Pez dispensers because they were cheap and I didn't have them at the time. Um, but a lot of the stuff was... Oh, and I also I did. I also got the Star Wars NES game. I did get that too. That's right. 
Um, but it, it was it was cool. It was neat to you know walk into a Star Wars store. So it was more like that was definitely about the destination more than more than the journey because Aberdeen from Seattle is is a jaunt. It's a few hours away, not exactly around the corner. But uh, it was a uh, it it was worth the trip once. I think you'd have to fight pretty hard to convince me to to make a, a second trip uh, back or again. Uh, but uh, it, it could happen. I, I don't think it would be a, a bad thing to go again. It's just I, I wasn't, like, chomping at the bit to get back. Um, there were... Uh, a, there have been a couple stores here in the Se greater Seattle area that have had uh, pretty decent inventory for Star Wars stuff, and I've purchased from every one of them, certainly. Um, you know, it just depends on the pricing. It depends on what's there, uh, what's needed, what you're looking for, if it's a good deal, if you got a coupon. Um, but, but a lot of those collector shops because they're trying to stay in business they they give you fair market rate but it's usually above fair market uh or just you know because you've got it in hand as opposed to getting it online uh, I, right now i'm vacillating between so i talked about the mighty beans a while ago didn't i um i i have i i can slowly but surely chip away and complete my mighty beans star wars collection and and, and, and build it up or i could buy an entire collection so I've got maybe 10 more to go, and that would cost me half as much as buying the entire collection. So what should I do? Should I pay full price to get a full collection of the Mighty Beans, like stem to stern, right now, uh, or pay half as much for the remaining 10? What would you do? Okay. So like I, this is an example. If I could buy the remaining 10 for $10, or buy the full collection for 20 And I'm not saying that's the discrepancy, but that's that's basically how I'm explaining it. So I don't know. I, I'm looking for advice. My gut, you know, as much as I would spend, I've probably spent a, a, an arm and a leg to get the collection, but it's just not just completing the collection, but I may actually be able to turn around at some point and sell the uh, the extra Mighty Beans that I got to somebody else. So would I should I spend more for the full collection and have like almost a full set of duplicates or spend half as much to get just the remaining 10 or 11. Curious to know what uh, what your thoughts are on that because I'm like mm, I'm, 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 I'm I'm curious to know like because there I've got some rare ones right now. I pay I've paid an arm and a leg to get rare ones. So I'm like I'm wondering if I should go that route or not. Uh, so, fun fact of the day. Thank you, Cheesy Sword, the patented fun fact of the day. The Car Carcadoons, who are shark-like race, heavily favor bio-cybernetics. This includes secondary hearts, gill implants, and metal jaws to strike fear in their enemies. Is that like, um, what was that, what was the Admiral? Wasn't it, an, no, it was, it was a Mon Calamari, a, a, a cyborg, uh, Commander Silo? Was that Silo? No, but it was in, I think it was in the Darth Vader arc, the first one from Marvel. He was a Mon Calamari, and he got all cybernetic. Well, I guess he wouldn't be from the race, the Carcadoons, but anyway. Uh, you would buy it? Well, yeah, but which one? Which one would you buy? Uh, is the Kylo Ren FX lightsaber worth the price? Does it work well? Well, it works well. We have it. It's nice, but I don't know if... Um, I mean, it, it, you have to justify that cost. Like, if you like it, and if it's worth the price for you, then the answer is yes. Is it worth it for me? Probably not. I'm not a lightsaber collector. I'm not a lightsaber enthusiast. I, I like Kylo Ren. Don't mean, I've got a shelf dedicated to him over here in the play shop. But uh, it, it, that all comes down to you. I can't answer that uh, that questions. Uh, this comes from the Collapse of the Republic source book. Examples of Carcadoons are in the War of Mo Moncala and Dooku Jedi Loss. Rift Tamsin. Was that Cheesy Sword? Was that? Was that? Hang on. Was that the, the, you know which one I'm talking about, right? The one, uh, it was a Mon Cala cyborg comic. Let's see if I can pull it. Of course. It's, I'm not able. Carbon? It, yeah, car, it was Carbon. Not, a, a Silo was somebody else. Carbon was a male Mon Calamari who served as commander during the Clone Wars. That, that had to be it, right? Because he met Vader. 
Or was that... Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't Carbon. Well, Vader down. Yeah, maybe it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. Just checking. Like, I remember the character, but I, I couldn't remember the name. I, don't, I usually don't commit these things to memory. I read them, enjoy them, and, you know, sometimes, like, they're... It's, I remember, but not like every excruciating detail. God, I'm never, I'm never gonna stop catching flack for not remembering Yoda's lamp. Like when I was going through uh, one of the more popular videos that I did for Galaxy's Edge was going through uh, Doc Ondar's Den of uh, 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 Collectibles or whatever uh, Antiquities, and the lamp. I saw the lamp. For some reason, it just did. It I didn't make the mental connection, and people have been slagging me. You don't know Yoda's lamp. You're you're not a fan. I'm like, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. That thing is like a crude. Hang on, I, I can pull it up right now. Uh, Doc Ondar collectibles. It, yeah, I'm like on YouTube. It's like the second video. Um, it has a just that one video alone on the personal channel. If the page loads. Where is it? Where's the view? Oh, 66,000 views. 66,000 views. Most of the comments are slagging me for not knowing. Uh, oh, you'll post a, a picture in Discord? Oh, okay. Carbon Comics Rift Clone Wars. Got it. I'll pull up in Discord here. Because you can post it. If you post a picture in Discord, it won't embed in this, in the chat embed in the video. Oh, thank you, John, for sending me a link to the Star Wars um, store in Portland. Appreciated. Uh, I've got to get back to somebody else, apparently. Um, we've got about nine, eight more minutes. If I can hit a half hour, I'll be happy as a clam or a lark. Um, so, anyway, yeah. I, uh, yay! Yay! Uh, that's where, oh, so now you've posted it. I gotta go there. Oh, Riff is the shark guy. I remember him. Oh, that's the race that you were talking about? Okay, cool. I remember, I do remember that character from the Clone Wars. Like, clearly remember that character. Some of the Clone Wars characters, I'm not gonna say are forgettable, uh, but that one definitely was not forgettable. In, at any in any moment. Oh, interesting. So it won't. It didn't. I'm just. I'm just. Sorry. I'm looking at the chat. It didn't actually say that you posted the link in Discord, but it. So it didn't even show in the chat. So that's actually kind of good news. Oh, and 3D printing with Heath sent a photo on Twitter. Hang on. Where am I gonna? Where? Where did I put my phone? I, I don't know where I put my phone. Uh, I guess I can pull it up on the desktop. I'm sitting here. Uh, that's what's nice about being able to, to, to do it this way. Although, like I, I've been saying, I've got a, like a, a, a video setup that I'm in the process of um, uh, I'm in the process of a new kind of setup for computing stuff, and I may end up doing the broadcasts from there at some point in the near future. You sent a 3D printed image. Oh, of the Rainbow Vader. Hang on. And now, and now I'm really sad. I can't, like, point the... I could, but it would just be all sloppy. Um, nice. Purple, green, a little blue, yellow, orange. Very very rainbow. Very rainbow. Not, like, very un-Vader-esque, if I can say that. Under uh, Like, you would never expect Vader to be like that. But that's... Those are the kind of... Uh, uh, um, those are the kind of Vaders I love, you know, the fun stuff, right? The things you can never get anywhere else. Uh, so what else do we have? They've made uh, a lot of different separatists that ended up being in only one arc, very much inspired by serials, I would imagine. Yeah, possibly. Um, you know, that, that, I, the Clone Wars is one of those series that probably could have lasted indefinitely, and I'm glad they're bringing it back. I want, I want, I would love. I demand. Uh, I would love to see more of that kind of uh, that kind of show, with live action or animated. Um, the Clone Wars just, I think, consistently hit all the right notes. The thing that always bothered me about the Clone Wars 
even because I wasn't able to watch them until after they were all done because it was very difficult to like DVR things back in the day. Now it's just easy. Uh, but the difficult thing to manage with the Clone Wars is that it was never in uh, sequence. They were all they, they jumped left and right and forward and backward, and it was really it was tricky sometimes to kind of keep that straight. And that's the one thing I wish they would have done differently with the Clone Wars. There are, like, uh, you can get, like, episode guides saying, okay, if you want to watch it in chronological order, you watch this episode first, then this episode, then this episode, then this episode. Uh, but, um, you know, it's it's not uh, really, oh, yeah, 3D printing with Heath, it's Pride Month. That's a perfect time to do this. That is a perfect, it's my Pride Vader, thank you. I am, I'm proud, thank you. Um, am I looking forward to all the Disney plus Star Wars shows. Yeah, every one of them. Any one of them. I don't care. I'll take them all. Um, because, I, you know, like I said, I, I just remember living in a time when there wasn't new Star Wars stuff. Nothing, I mean, and it's, it, you can always look forward to something and I know they're afraid that people are going to hit burnout, but, and I know that, I, I'm sure as for, from a mass market perspective, it's probably possible, uh, but I don't know. I just, I, it's hard for me. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me to see that because I'm I'm the kind of person that's always, you know, if I see it, I get excited. And I don't think that seeing it all the time would necessarily make me less excited about it. I live surrounded by Star Wars stuff. Um, but, uh, no, I am happy. It, apparently that person got removed, but uh, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. I, I'm going to use the classic definition. I'm extremely happy about Star Wars. Um, hang on. Did you post another image in Discord? Or, oh, just the shark. Okay. I can close this window. I, I tend to try to, to concentrate on... Uh, I, as much as computers help you multitask, sometimes I feel they can like draw your attention away. And so I tend not to want to sit in front of a computer when I do video like this. Because inevitably, I will get distracted in, in looking at something else and reading something else or researching something else and diving down the rabbit hole. Um, so it's very odd for me to have set up this camera like this and specifically talking to you. Not that I, I mind. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Uh, but anyway, we've got uh, maybe a couple minutes left. Um, yeah, I, I'd leave, but as soon as I left, then... I, I know, I, I, my phone is probably in the other room. Because I was in there before I came in here and decided to do the videos. At least I think. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't see it anywhere. And this is my this is my knock around phone, so it's not on here. And I'm, I don't have the the account on here. Um, the dogs are doing fine. Thank you very much. Did I see the link I sent? Uh, not yet. If you're talking about the Portland show, Portland thingy, um, Star Wars store. Oh! Actually, I remember hearing about this. I haven't been, but I remember hearing about this, thinking that I would want to go. <laughs> that is so cool. They're probably like way pricey, but still, just like, wow. They must be able to like pull it off if they've got like five employees. Wow. That's cray. You know, I half wonder if something like that could even work up here. Because that's, that's amazing. Like, if they have that many employees, it's hard to have a brick-and-mortar store. Or or they're supporting it through, like, online stuff. They may also be online, which is probably the case. They, they, they offset their costs online. So let's see here. Where is it at? Um, Portland. Let me see. Where in Portland? Okay. All right. I, I may very well... I'm not going to make the trek specifically for that. Uh, but, um, yeah, I may... Uh, I may make the track uh, to it when I'm in Portland. So thank you for the lead. I, I will remember that. I will. Um, and now I'll have to like try to carve out time specific to like to go. <laughs> like I'm like, oh. I'll record. I'll ask if I could record it. Uh, Chris, can you send your address? I sent you an email on Twitter. Yeah, sure. I'll do just that here in just a minute. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in for about a half hour. Glad I could show you what hit my radar today. Glad we could talk about a few things. Uh, glad I could learn a few new things as well. Always a, a great way to kind of end our day here, my day, really our, my family. They get it. They, I get out of their hair for like a half hour. Uh, but thank you everybody for for all your support. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. I love you. 
I appreciate you, and at this point, I'm going to leave you all to your own devices. And may the force be with you. Oh, wait, I gotta say, I will see you tomorrow. May the force be with you always.